Hey everyone, we are live at the Pace Studio right now in New York with Kate Davis. Kate, welcome back. Thanks for coming back and doing this again. Thank you. Yeah. We uh, are about to hear four songs off of Trophy, which is coming out tomorrow on Solitaire Recordings, and the soundtrack is sounded great. We're stoked to share your music with the internet right now. Uh, can you tell us what you're doing first? We're going to start with a song called Daisy. Sounded great. Um, can you talk a little bit about, so in case there are people on this live stream right now who are just being introduced to your music, and it doesn't seem like that's the case because there seems like there are a lot of your fans who are stoked on uh, this broadcast right now. Right now. If there are a handful of people who are just being introduced to you for the first time, can you tell us a bit about your origin and how you find yourself to be here right now? Sure. Um, well, I grew up playing a lot of classical music, jazz music, and went to a music conservatory to study upright bass, but um, during college decided that I, I didn't really want to keep pursuing that path fully, so I started writing a lot of songs. And um, over the past five or six years, I've continued to work on that craft, refining songwriting and just kind of figuring out where I wanted to end up aesthetically, you know, in music. And... Um, Tomorrow, I'm releasing this record, which is going to be, for me, like the culmination of all of those years of work, trying to find what I think of as being my, like the perfect way to really represent myself musically, which feels really good. Yeah, I yeah. bet it does. Well, thank you for doing this the day before. And uh, I mean, the name of the record, Trophy, makes sense because that's a thing that you must have been striving for for a while. Yeah. Um, and... Uh, I don't know. Sounds great. Thanks for coming Thank you. and doing this. 
Um, we're hearing four from Trophy today. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us what's coming up second? Yeah, um, we're going to play a song now called Cloud. Seventeen Sounds great. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Um, I'm very much looking forward to listening to the playback of this thing when I can really, really dive into the lyrics of what you're saying. Because, I mean, I'm hearing the same thing that you are right now in the room, which yeah. is lyric light, but uh, <laughs> light uh, on the lyrics. Band, yeah. band heavy. Yeah. But the lyrics are uh, imp very important to this record, as they are to literally every song. I tend to, when I hear songs, it takes me like, 12 to 18 to 20 listens before I really actually hear the words that are being said. I mean, I yeah. tend to hear the sonic quality of a song uh, most of the listenings. Um, and then it takes a while for me to actually listen to the lyrics. And so the lyric forward um, quality of these tunes, can you tell me, um, can you break me out of this fucking cyclical question that I'm asking you right now and tell me about the importance of the lyrics on these tunes and um, talk and interpret what either on the song that you just played or the song that's coming up next, the, the importance of, of these words to these songs? Um, well, for me, without these words, the songs would mean nothing, even though I definitely stand behind the musical choices. You know what I mean? Um, 
I think as a songwriter, it became pretty clear to me uh, in time that without some type of narrative or story um, that everything can attach itself to musically, like there's just no point, you know? Um, so for Cloud, for instance, this was a song that was written with the idea of young love in mind, you know, and like kind of going back to a place and using words to describe a feeling of of yearning and longing for something that you might not even totally understand yet. Um, and, and using certain words to um, kind of give you a, you know how you associate certain feelings with words, you know, like I, I grew up in the Pacific Northwest and there's something to me about whales and whale songs that are really not just romantic, but, but kind of um, otherworldly, you know? And I think like being a young person thinking about love, it's almost like otherworldly. So maybe like certain connections through association, associations, <laughs> let me try this again, associations with words where you, you then have feelings based on the words themselves and not as much the meaning of the word, even though the meaning of the word has great value within the context of the song, you know? Do you associate great meaning with the phrase riot girl with all the R's and shit, riot girl? Because I definitely do. Yeah. And so Slater Kinney just played downstairs in this building a couple okay. of days ago. And my wife's very favorite band in the history of the world is Slater Kinney. And I couldn't name you one single Slater Kinney song, but we saw that band play. And I all of a sudden got to associate uh, all of her feelings with that phrase, Riot Girl, and sort of associate much closer to her um what what her what her teenage years were like and uh, yeah. i don't know this yes so yeah. yes <laughs> short story made long yes i do completely understand what you're saying cool <sighs> now that that's out of the way so there are there's more songs you're gonna do a bunch more off trophy can you tell us what's coming up next yeah um so we're gonna play a song called rabbits right now which is spelled r-b-b-t-s it was the first single that i was able to put out through solitaire and um it has a pretty emotional video that uh is out there on the internet if anyone wants to watch it i'm in a bathtub i will drop a link to that yeah, in the comment section know. now it's pretty emotional this one's an emotional song <laughs> okay all right <laughs> Skin will slip away and in 
the tempo that you guys just played that at is so similar to the album version because I just I had the music video queued up in front of me and it sunk so oh, many nice. times when you're mouthing the lyrics in the bathtub it sunk up and I don't know so that's interesting for me and nobody else but it was very awesome I mean, watching you play that thing that's and- that I mean <laughs> Mike Riddleberger on the drums. <laughs> Can I introduce the rest of the band? Yeah, please do. Cool. Well, that's Mike Riddleberger. Hey. Tempo genius. <laughs> um, this is Tim Bright on guitar. Tim. And this is Alex Foote on guitar. All right. Did you know that Alex is probably, most likely, the most uh, paced playing ist musician in the yeah. history of this room? Yeah. yeah. That's what. That's what I heard. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. It was Julian Lodge for a while, maybe. I don't know. Maybe it was always Alex. Yeah. Yeah. Um, So, can you tell us what the compared to the arrangement, the instrumentation that you're doing in this room today? What does it look like when you're playing? uh, So, the tour kicks off at Kung Fu Necktie in Philly uh, next Wednesday, the twelfth. You're playing next Tuesday, the twelfth. Is that no? I don't think that's true. Maybe no. Yeah, no. That's what my notes say. Yeah, you're right. I just want. Yes, you're right. I knew that also. I just wanted to make sure Ooh, you knew okay. also. It's like, oh, man. Tuesday Did I 12. book the van the wrong day? And then um, Pie Shop, Washington, D.C., and yeah. then Pittsburgh Club Cafe. You're back here at Elsewhere Zone 1 yes. on the 15th. There are many, many you shows. Come They're to the all show? up at katedavismusic.com uh, on the 15th. Yes. Are you coming? Okay, good. I don't fucking right, I mean, if you're not <laughs> let's, here. Let's say yes. yes. So compared <laughs> to what is happening here in this uh, situation right now what do people what can people expect to see at the live shows um i think they can expect a similar uh approach to the music and attitude we just will have our amps cranked a little louder um and we'll probably be uh, like looking even more festive i don't maybe yeah maybe. i i don't know i mean like you can i can assure you that it's going to be better than even this Dude, I don't know. It's pretty good right now. It's, it's pretty good. I enjoy this quite a okay. bit. And so, so more festive in what way? How are you going to be more festive than you are um, right now? I, you know, I think there's something different about playing a show live without ca- video cameras. You know? <laughs> yes, I'm just asking I'm not you to verbalize case. what that difference um, is. No, you know, I think I think right now we know that this this session is forever and we don't want to let anyone down. And so we're extra <laughs> cautious. And I think when we're playing these shows, you're much more conscious of letting people down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think, I mean, I've been letting people down my whole life. So, um, <laughs> no, I think, I just think that it's easier to just like uh, have not that we're having a lot of fun now, but I think we can go a little crazier when we're playing yeah. You know, in a club and everyone's like, woo, I'm having another beer. And, you know, like, Dude, not that I, that's not the vibe here, but. I've been drinking for like 70 hours. 70 it, hours? Seven, yeah, seven zero, not 17, but like Damn, seven okay. zero. But well, I, it, regardless, well, I enjoy and, what you guys are doing here very much. The other very, thing very is that we're going to be in a van and we're going to be driving around. We're all going to get a lot closer as people. That's going to come through the music. Uh, we're going to not be sleeping as much so we're going to be a little bit like you know yeah no i have no idea what that's like i sleep very well every night so i have no idea what it's like to not sleep well all right i guess we should play the last song now or something yeah please (laughs) thank you this all kidding aside we do appreciate you guys so much coming here oh well we appreciate being able to come here and play yeah this is so special all right this is the title track trophy I love you
Kate, thank you for coming and doing this. Uh, come back literally anytime it makes sense for you. Um, Seriously? Your, dude, come back tomorrow if you want. Okay. On release day, your album is coming out tomorrow on Solitaire tomorrow. Recordings. Um, can I permit me one digression? So the internet says that uh, behind the drums, that red case right over your left shoulder. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. The internet says uh, uh, that's a hidden switch into a secret room right behind Kate. There's a small refrigerator with snacks and an autographed photo of Steve Martin. That's probably not what that is, but can you tell us what that red case actually is? Mike and the Mechanics. Uh, okay, well, that's cool. But that's pretty creative, though. Yeah. <laughs> that's I know. good. Yeah. I like that quite a bit, and I like the fact that you guys came here and did this. We appreciate it very much, and best of luck on the release. So Thank Trophy you. comes out tomorrow, and uh, you have so many shows. They're starting next Tuesday, you are correct, on uh, Tuesday, November 12th at Kung Fu Necktie. Shows all the way through till forever. UK and Europe, late January through early February. It's all at Kate Davis Shows music. till forever. Yeah. Keep doing it. Come back here. Really do. Please come back here. Okay. Thanks for coming. The Thank second you. time, we'll see a third and a fourth and all the time. A hundredth. Thank you, Kate. Thank you. All right.